Dear students, today we are going to perform the experiment of determination of CaO in cement water. The chemicals required for today's experiment are the cement water, sodium salt of EDTA, dithyl amine, glycerol, 4NaOH, then the indicator pattern reader indicator. The apparatus required are volumetric flask to prepare the standard solution, conical flask, beakers to prepare the solution and a weighed quantity of EDTA salt and to measure the volume we need measuring cylinder and to titrate it we need a burette. Now we are going to prepare a standard solution. Weight quantity of EDTA is taken in a beaker. To that we are going to add a minimum quantity of water. With the help of a glass rod stir the solution. Transfer this solution into a volumetric flask with the help of a glass. Wash the beaker two to three times. Collect the washings into the volumetric flask Now dilute the solution up to the mark. Solution is filled up to the mark. Start. Huh? Now the solution is up to the mark. Now we need to make it homogeneous. So stopper the volumetric flask. Hold the top of this volumetric flask into your left thumb, left palm, and invert it in this way. Shake it thoroughly. So this makes the solution homogeneous. This solution we are going to take it in a volume in a burette which is present in a stand. So now I am going to fill the so sodium salt of EDTA into this burette. So take a solution in a beaker, small quantity of solution we are going to take it in a beaker. Then we are going to Transfer this solution using a funnel, hold it in this way, then add the solution to the burette, set it for a zero. Set it for zero. Now See this, this is a set to 0. I will adjust the level to 0 and leave one or two drops and set it for the 0. So the lower meniscus should touch 0 line. Now I am going to clamp this burette to the stand. Now I am going to prep it out 25 ml of cement water into a clean conical flask. So this is 25 ml pipette. Now I am going to pipette out 25 ml of this solution. Now I am taking this 25 ml of solution 
into clean conical glass. Add fiber of dihalamide. To this, I'm going to add 5 ml of dihalamide. The purpose of adding this dithylamine is to maintain the pH pH at 12 to 14. The purpose of maintaining pH of 12 to 14 is that the indicator it will the reaction is going to complete at that particular pH. The indicator turns wine red to clear blue at that particular pH pH. Now I am adding 5 ml of grease rod. Now I am going to add 10 ml of 4 ml NaOH. Add a pinch of indicator. The indicator used in this case is a pattern reader indicator. We are going to get a wine red color. Add a little indicator. Stir the solution. See the color. So this is what the wine red color. So this color is wine red color. This color is formed due to the formation of a complex between the calcium ions and the pattern reader indicator. This complex is going to form at the pH of 12 to 14. Now, already I have taken EDTA solution into a burette. So now, slowly I am going to titrate. I am going to hold the conical flask into a right hand. Whereas my left hand three fingers are going to operate the burette knob. So add slowly. See the color change. Your eye should be just watching the change in a solution color. Slowly you need to add with a constant stirring. The constant stirring makes the uniform distribution of the solution. Just now you are finding that the change is going to be observed very soon. Just see. You need to be careful at the end point. Add slowly, drop by drop. So this is the color change what we are going to observe. So this is this red blue color we call as a clear blue color. Now the color is changed from wine red to clear blue. So the burette reading for this experiment is so we set the initial reading as 0. Now it is showing 11. So now, so the initial reading is 0 and the final reading is 11. So this is our first reading. And similarly, we need to pipette out two more times and find out the readings. See, once we get the concurrent readings, we are going for the calculation. So I will show you how to, for, how to do the calculation. Now let us see the calculation. So there are two parts of calculation. The first one is to find out the normality. So we have taken the weight quantity of EDTA. So for in this experiment we have taken the EDTA 1.056 grams. So the weight of a EDTA into 4 divided by the molecular weight of a salt. So that is equal to 1.056 into 4 divided by 3. 72.4 the normality comes out to be 0 0.011 now the second part is the estimation of CaO in cement so in a conical in a burette we have taken the standard EDTA solution 
In a conical flask, we have taken 25 ml of cement solution, 5 ml of glycerol, 5 ml of diethylamine, 10 ml of 4N sodium hydroxide solution and the indicator used is pattern reader indicator. So now after titration, the final reading what we got is 11, the initial was 0, so the difference is going to be 11 ml. Similarly, for the second titration, it is we observed that 22.1 is the final reading and initial was 11. So, the difference is going to be 11.1. Similarly, for the third titration, the value obtained, burette reading was 33.2 and initial was 22.1. The difference is 11.1. So, the average burette reading is 11.1. 11.1. So the volume of EDTA used is 11.1 ml. So 1000 ml of 1 m EDTA corresponds to 56.08 grams of CaO. The 56.08 is the molecular mass of CaO. So therefore, 1 ml of 1 m EDTA, it means that 56.08 of C, grams of CaO. So the calculation comes out to be, that is, V ml of m n EDTA is equal to 56.08 into x. x is nothing but the normality and V is the volume of sodium, hydrox, sodium salt of EDTA solution, which is 56.08 into the normality of a EDTA solution that is 0 0.011 into 11.1. So after calculating, after multiplying this one, we are going to get it as 6.847 which is approximated to 6.85. Now we want the amount of CaO present in 250 ml of sodium uh, cement solution. To that, we are going to multiply the y. This answer we call as a y. That will be multiplied with a 10. So, same thing we have done here. 6.85 into 10. So, it comes out to be 68.5 mg of CaO is present in 250 ml of solution. So this is how we are going to calculate the CAO content in cement solution.